All right, here we go. 2014 F case unboxing for Matchbox cars. Sorry for the towel in the background. I, I have to, I have to hide a little project that I'm working on. So you'll see that uh, coming very soon. Let's check it out. The Matchbox Hot Wheels kind of seem, I don't know, it seems to me that like, like Hot Wheels comes out uh, pretty regularly. Sometimes a little quicker, sometimes a little slower. But with Matchbox, sometimes. Uh, we have a long drought between case packs and assortments. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, see what we have here for up and coming Matchbox May 2014. It's been a while, so I kind of, I'm not sure what was in the last case packs. I'm pretty sure that Dump Dozer was in the last one in this color. Acre Maker. Hey, that's a pretty interesting title. Acre Maker. So it's a little farming tool. It's got the, it's got a tail hook. I wonder if they're ever going to come out with. Uh, they should release stuff so that we can take advantage of those trailers more often. Sometimes you can get them in uh, five packs, but uh, I don't see stuff that would go along with this one very often. Even in the five packs, I don't can't remember one a trailer being released separately in a long time. Cadillac CTS Coupe. Nice color. Looks very good. Here we have, uh, thankfully, a recolor of the Seagrave fire engine. Nice vintage fire engine vehicle. Authentic red deco. Decos. Decos. The text under the bottom says MBX station number one. It says it right there in the middle of your screen. And in the circle it says FD with a number one. Let's see any uh, temples in the front. Nope. No tampons in the front. We have some uh, nice decos on the side. So we do have some details. I'll try to avoid that light again. Sorry. Cliffhanger. One of the many off-road vehicles that uh, Matchbox released for the last couple years. Beautiful. 1968 Ford Mustang. GT slash CS. I like that one. And I know people might not like the chrome interior, but uh, look, they, they're only allowed so many parts for the Matchbox cars and the Hot Wheels cars. Hmm, I'll have to take a look and see what that text says in a second. But uh, not a whole lot of decals, but I like it like this. Just simple and just let the car speak for itself. Here's a new model. I think it's a new model. Ground Grabber. I don't recognize it. It looks it looks like it, it looks like it might pivot on that point. I guess I'm gonna have to open one up. I'll do so after I go through the whole case. Ground grabber. Let's take a look at the back just for a heck of it. See the list. Yeah, they uh, I think all of these all of these have been released as far as I can recall. Now I'm gonna look at the text on that Mustang. Let's bring it up close so we all can see it. Hold on. Get some focus. Okay, California probably says approved special. California special. There we go. Got a side marker tampo for the side lights. Oh yeah, regarding the uh, chrome interior. Uh, so you got the chrome bumpers. That's the same part as the chrome interior as the chrome grill, and that's why the interior is chrome. It might not look attractive from a real car perspective, but keep in mind they're toy cars. This one was out in the last assortment. Remember that because I like the uh, Lambo Police LP560 4 Police. You got your little lights on top, kind of European style tampo, in my recollection. Travel Tracker, I think this is another new one, does not look familiar to me. Got Travel Tracker, got a cheetah, looks like a, I think that'd be a cheetah on the side. It's been a while since I went uh, naming animals, so I could be mistaken. I wonder if this pops off. Look, you got seats inside so people can go on a safari and watch. Hopefully no uh, cheetahs, if they don't like it, they'll jump right in there. That, that, opening, that opening is not very uh, small, it's pretty big. They can squeeze in there pretty quick. Another couple of Cadillac CTSs. Blizzard Buster. Pretty sure this was already in the previous assortments. 
with that color. Seems familiar to me. There's another Ford Mustang. Oh yeah, for people asking about track time with Matchbox, sorry I don't do track time for Matchbox because you wind up with a lot of the case being stuff like this, stuff like this. What, you know, how am I supposed to do? How, they don't even fit on the track, you know. They have teeny little wheels. So no, yeah, sometime in the future I'll do a, some kind of fun presentation, but I, I just, there's not enough variety in the case and there's not enough tracked models for me to do a track time video. Garbage Gulper. Hey, look, a six-wheeler. Hmm, trail tracker. We're getting a lot of tracker vehicles, eh? Trail tracker. I don't recall if this is the first color. It's definitely a, a newer model. I don't recognize this at all. Look on the base for a copyright date. 1186, that's wrong. 2013 is the copyright date. So... It's either from last year or this year, and this could be the first sample. I'm not sure. Look out. It's massive fire engine. Zoom over bridges to quickly battle. Oh, that's for the segment. That's not for this particular car right there. This guy's been out already. I like that Rumble Raider. New color for the Quick Sander. Looks good. Pewter gray, black and red, white striping looks good I don't particularly want too many of this type of model in my collection but maybe you like it or maybe you don't have one yet that would be a nice color to pick up if you want a sample of different colors water tanker already out hey Oshkosh MATV and uh, there's another Oshkosh. I don't know if this was it. I did a. I showed. I took a picture of it with my heroics vehicles, my army characters, I should say. Had this color, but for, I don't think it was this model. This might be another new model too. So just in case, we'll take a close look. Simple graphics, just some details. You got some. Actually, that's not even the stripes around the doors. I think that's. I think that's just. Could be stripes. How would they get stripes in the middle of the door? It's pretty hard for them to tample in between the door line. But black tamples for the windows. You got a spare tire molded. And then in the back, uh, let's see. I don't particularly see anything in particular. Hey. No, I was going to say, don't tell me they did that so the Lego figures could stand there. I think that's too close together. I don't think Lego feet would fit in there. Might have to open up that one too. Okay, tractor plow. I like that one for the big silver. Hey, look who's back. Look who's back. Ford F-150 Super Duty Mini Pumper. Haven't seen you in a couple of years. You took a little break. I like this one. It's pretty cool. No tamples on the back, just silver plastic. But I like the nice styled tamples on the side. It makes it look official. Looks realistic with those tamples. And last up, Terraniac is still in the mix. This one was in previous assortments. So if you have, a, if you missed out on the last batch, then it's still around. Ground Baker in white with the like a little bulldozer. Okay, I'll be right back. I gotta open up a couple of these vehicles and see. Uh, let's take a closer look at a couple of them. Now I had mentioned trailers before. Uh, this pack right here, Farm Rigs, it had this cool little, uh, I don't know if this is a sewing, I don't know what the name of this is. But that's pretty cool. If they're going to put things with trailers, if they're going to put vehicles with hitches, they should have five packs or singles with the things that can be towed. Now if you're looking for uh, the travel trailer, this is the travel trailer. Uh, it was in the Outdoor Adventure five pack. Here's, a, here's another one. This is from a two pack. But anyways... There's also a five pack that was called Camping Adventure. So if you want to pick up a, a, a trailer, like a little motorhome travel trailer, it's in this pack. Now as far as this, I'll take a look up close. I'll let you have a close up look at the models. This truck right here, beautiful paint job. This is the only pack I ever found. It's a 2010, I think, copyright, so it might be 2011 in the stores. But it showed up in Target later, like a couple years later. And this is the only pack I ever found. So I don't want to open it up because it's the only pack I have. Sorry. But it's a pretty cool pack. 
And before I get to ripping, uh, I might have brushed over this real fast because I was talking about track time. Sorry if I did that. Here's a close-up look at the BMW R1200GS. I should show you a close-up of this one to show you that it's not like a trailer to where you would have bales of hay and give tours on the farm. Uh, it's actually like a bucket type thing. So I'm not sure exactly. Maybe you would put hay in there and then maybe while you're driving around you uh, got a pitchfork and you start shoveling it out to feed the animals. I don't know. Let me know what this exactly would be used for. Since the acre maker had that little hitch, let's go ahead and open him up first. He's kind of an ideal candidate, I think, for towing around that red, that red vehicle. The hitch sticks out nice and far. Let's see how well it works with this one here. This little, this came in a five pack too. It's got a little uh, boat trailer. Let's hook it up. I should be over here to where you can see. Uh, I have something light through there so you can see and it's not too much colors. Oh, this one's different. I remember this hitch. Hold on, let's do this one first. Motorhome, please, we need a travel trailer. So this one. Yeah, it fits. This one works pretty good. Pretty good. But uh, this little boat trailer, I remember this thing was not good for the five pack. It was really hard to get this thing in here. That's why I don't like to talk about this five pack that had the boat. See, look, uh, no good. It's on there so tight, look. <laughs> no good. But um, if you have the uh, travel trailer, uh, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't exactly be using this vehicle with your travel trailer, but it works pretty good. Let's look at the front. Now let's go ahead and bring out up next. Let's talk about, somebody else have a hitch? Nope, nope, nope. Okay, we'll talk about next for this one. We'll go ahead and take a look at Travel Tracker. This one reminds me of, the, I think Sahara Survivor is one that it reminds me of, but it also reminds me of Desert Thunder. You guys remember that cartoon? The movie? Yeah, that was an entertainment five pack. So it kind of reminds me of Desert Thunder a bit. But it also reminds me of the Sahara Survivor. Now that I look at these two, no, it's nothing like Sahara Survivor. Because in the back of Sahara Survivor, it's just for gear. You can't put people back there. But this looks like uh, it's got benches. Looks like benches, like you would be taking people, towing, uh, transporting. Let's see if this pops off. And it might not be intended to pop off. Oh, there it goes. There you go. Let's have a look at the inside. Hey, how many people? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten people. You got a little uh, spot here, maybe emergency, emergency supplies in case of an accident or something. And check out the front. Got a motorcycle. So this way, if a cheetah is chasing you, you can hop on your motorcycle. I don't know if that's going to. Oh yeah, check out the roof. It's got some details on the roof too. I don't know if you, if that motorcycle is going to help you uh, to escape from a cheetah. You know, cheetahs, they're pretty fast. They could be standing still and get 40 miles an hour in two seconds. 40 miles an hour in two seconds. That's, that's fast. Now, that's a 65 kilometers for you guys who don't use the miles. But the top speed, 70 miles an hour. Uh, I, don't think, I, don't think, I don't think this little motorcycle is going to do you any good. I don't think you're going to get to 70 miles an hour. And you know how I... I'll do this later. You know how I knew all that? I looked it up. <laughs> I wrote it down on the back of the package. I don't have that stuff memorized. Ground grabber. This one's pretty neat. Look look in the middle there. Look, you can see a gap in between the black and the yellow. So I wonder if it's going to pivot or rotate here or here. Got to know. Got to find out. It does not look like the arm moves. The arm looks like it's fixed in place. Let's see. Does it? Oh, ooh! I wasn't. I was not expecting that. Now it, this, you can't move the bucket. But for imagination, it's kind of neat. And there you go. Just as I suspected. That's pretty neat. Pretty neat. I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure little fellas will like this added movement. Two. You have two areas of articulation or movement. 
That's pretty cool. Or maybe you want to be like a lobster and attack your other vehicles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, time for you to go. Pretty nice. What do you think about this? Brand new model for 2014. You're not a new model. You're a new model. And let's check out the fourth new model that was in the bunch. I think that's four. Did I open four? The Trail Tracker. Now when you look at this, it kind of resembles something else. You guys who've been around a couple years with Matchbox, you probably know. Pretty nice. Triple axle. Let's see. Who does he look like? How about the Yamaha Rhino? Yamaha. Yamaha Rhino. That's who it resembled for me, but it's nicer. Look. Triple axle. Six wheels. This is a two-seater. Mm, yeah. Oh, one-seater. This one only has a driver's seat. No passenger, sorry. I don't see a spot for unless you want to put us stand on your knees over there. Yep, it's no spots, just got a flat area. Put your coffee or whatever. Hey, a little ladder for you to get in. Oh, you don't get in on this side. Oh, get in on either side. Why would they do? I guess you know. I guess that's so you can climb up and put your gear on the passenger seat. There's a look at the back. Uh, this would be like for river rescue or something, wouldn't it? It doesn't look like a, a safety pontoon or something. Oh, MBX Rescue. Very good. Look, this kind of looks like a stretcher. Doesn't this look like a stretcher like you're going to help somebody? Hey, emergency vehicle. I'm liking it even more. A little look at the top details. I, I, I'm a fan of triple axle stuff, even though they're, it's, it slows them down on the track. Obviously, this is not meant for... You know a track but I, I like this model I think I'm gonna get a few colors of this Yamaha Rhino I got a couple colors of that one too now let me talk about two more vehicles from this I had mentioned about the which one this one the Oshkosh M-ATV I mentioned that if I put an Instagram video I'll have a link for that Instagram video in the description you might need to be on a phone or mobile device for it to work so it opens in the Instagram app I don't know but I did a little video with this one here and some, uh, it was nothing special. <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. Here's what I thought it was, MBX Heroic Rescue. It's called the International MXT the Oshkosh MATV. Pretty nice. And that's why I kind of was stuck on the video because I was looking at it thinking, I swear I've seen that one before. But while you're here, oh yeah, I put, I put some notes. Oh yeah, this is a video that I showed this other one for. I'll try to remember to put a link in the description if you want to see the case that this came from. June 28, 2013. International, it was 2013 J case. But uh, interest, what's interesting is they're both Ford. I'm looking at the back. They both have the F GM, I said Ford. Wait a second. It says Ford official license, GM Oshkosh. And then this one says a Ford GM for it. Oh, these are switched. But this is international. Are in international and Oshkosh related? Is Oshkosh a brand of the sub-brand of international? I'm not sure. And as far as VW, VW must be for something else on the package. Hmm. Anyways, let me know. And last up, we're going to show the Groundbreaker. Groundbreaker is not a new model. I had uh, opened it up before. Here's a previous. This is pretty neat. It's got a moving features so that you can do your uh, bulldozing or whatever here's a silly bulldozer that where'd he go i'll find him in a second but this move works on the base of this it has two copyright dates it has the original copyright date of 2006 i think it was 2006 but now it has another copyright date so when they change the copyright they had to renew the copyrights but it also says 2006 comma 2013 this one had the moving. I hope that this feature stayed. We're going to find out at the same time. Ready? Set. Go. Yay! The only thing is the hitch is different. The hitch is really stubby now compared to how it was before. Before the hitch had a uh, triangle and now it's a square. Let's see the difference. This one worked better, right? So the other one, yeah, hooks nice. You may be excused. Now this one, they changed it, but how's it hook? Okay, good. Still good. <coughs> it's a little heavy for the... Uh, it's a little heavy for... <laughs> boing, 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 boing. 
Now, uh, it's kind of interesting. You have the bulldozer in that pack. And then you also had your lizard buster, which is more like a plow. It's got a little plow in the front. Plow is not movable. This is movable. Here's another vehicle that was out a while back. Here we have the highway maintenance truck. This one, the plow moves side to side. It does not move up and down. Here we have the Quarry King. This one had uh, some movement, not very good, but it did have some movement. If you like bulldozers, this one works very well. The Quarry King works okay. This was in the case, so uh, this is this one. This doesn't have any movement at all. See, it's a part of the base. So all that metal is all one piece. Oh yeah, here is the old bulldozer from from the uh, Hero series. Uh, about 10 years ago, 2002, 2003. Anyways, thanks for watching. You going to pick up any matchboxes out of this case? Uh, and let me know about some of the other questions I had, especially the international and the Oshkosh names. And I'm sure I asked another question. I was curious. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.